Tonight, a brother and sister are in jail tonight after a gruesome discovery. Pottawatomie County deputies found a young man dead inside a 55-gallon drum. They say this sibling duo is to blame. But new tonight, family members tell our Colleen Chin they think it's a case of self-defense. Colleen. Kelly, the discovery came after a 911 call led deputies to northeastern Pottawatomie County around 7.30 last night. But Glendon Galkersbaum says her son hasn't been in this kind of trouble before and would not be violent unless threatened. So it's this 10 acre strip that goes back to the woods there. It's this small piece of land near Glendon Galker's firewood business that links him to 19 year old Ethan James Walton. It's the only thing anyone agrees on. It was done yesterday morning. Yeah, we all, the family knew that, that, that Ethan had agreed to the price Glendon offered him and, and the paperwork was all done up and they were signed it yesterday morning. But Ethan Walton is dead and investigators say it happened as the two tried to hammer out details on the deal. They say it's when Walton was killed and his girlfriend kidnapped and sexually assaulted for hours. She escaped to get help at a house nearby. That's what she told investigators. I absolutely think her claims are, are bogus. Galker's mom says she spoke to her son several times Wednesday and everything sounded fine. Then this morning. He called me and he said, Mama, get an attorney. He said he came back to rob me. He said, get Michelle out of here. She had absolutely nothing to do with any of this. Galker's mom says she believes her son and stepdaughter Michelle fought back after a home invasion by Walton and his girlfriend and likely got scared when Walton died. Our theory on that is it's a home invasion self-defense. You don't cuff them, tape them, and put them in a 55-gallon drum and seal them. And time naked to a bed. There's too many, too many questions that nobody can answer. But I know, I know this. I know God's faithful. And she says her son's next court day is in about a week. That's when he's expected to be charged with first-degree murder. Kelly. All right, Colleen. The female victim's name has not been released.